Making realistic physics in virtual reality is a big time waster, but luckily for you, I'm going to show you in this video a nice trick that you can use in your game to easily make doors, levers and drawers without any trouble. And if you are just getting started with VR, then you are in the right place because you will find in this channel everything you need to get started. Now without further ado, let's jump to Unity. Ok so what do we have here? Before recording I have already downloaded two assets from the asset store, one is the door free pack by Andre Ferrar and the other one is the Oculus integration. I will be using both to show you how you can make your own door system but keep in mind that this can work with any door asset and other VR headsets such as the HTC Vive or Valve Index. Ok so in my scene I have this door from the free package and I have added a wild plane for my ground and three little black cubes to form a wall around my door. Let's first start with the door physics. The first thing I'm going to do is select the door itself, not the door frame and add an inch joint. You can see that automatically a rigid body is added to the door. A inch joint will restrict the movement of the rigid body around an axis that you can see when hitting this little button. We can edit the axis here and I'm going to set mine to point to the top so my door will revolve around the up axis. Ok perfect so keep in mind that you can also change the position of the axis here if needed. Mine was already at a good position so I will leave it as it is. And one last thing we can do is set some limit to our door. Check the limit box here and two handler will appear in the scene window. You can use them to define the limit angle of our door. Ok now I think we are ready with the physics, I'm going to quickly test it by adding a box collider to my door and creating a new cube in my scene with a rigid body that I will make kinematic. With this if I move the cube to collide with the door, you can see that the door is correctly opening, how awesome is that right? But if you are wondering how we can actually grab the door to open it, that's exactly what we will do next. So the technique is to actually not make the player grab the door, but instead grab an invisible object which will be pulling it. If this seems a bit weird, I'm going to quickly show you how we can make that. As a child of the door, let's create a cube and scale it to roughly match the size of the handle. I will name it Handler. Now we will add a fixed joint to the handle. We don't need the box collider of the white cube, so we can remove it and drag the rigid body of the door to the fixed joint. And there you have it, now you can see that if I try to move the cube, the door will follow. Ok so you might think that we can simply grab this cube to open the door, but unfortunately doing this is really really buggy. But I have one simple solution for you. Instead of grabbing directly the cube, let's grab another one and make the first cube with the fixed joint follow it. I will first duplicate the cube and name this one grabbable handler and we can put it as a child of the other cube. As we want to grab this one, I will remove the fixed joint and set the rigid body to kinematic so it won't be affected by gravity and other objects. Also, to distinguish them better, I'm going to change the color to black, but you are not required to do so. Now we will make the white cube follow the black one. To do this, I will add a new script to the white cube which will be really really simple. In this script, we will access the rigid body of the white cube at the start of the game and in fixed update function, we will move this rigid body to the position of the black cube which will be the target variable. Ok back to unity, now I can simply drag the black cube in the target variable slot and hit the play button. And here we go, you can see that when I move the black cube, the white cube tried to move accordingly. Things are going good, now let's make this in VR and I have actually explained in details this in two previous videos on this channel, one for the Steam VR and the other one for the Oculus, so go check them out if you haven't already and make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss another tutorial. If you don't have the time, here are the big steps. I will first delete the main camera, then add the OVR player controller, search for the custom and left and custom and right and drag them in my scene. And finally, I will set the transform parent of the custom ends to be the tracking space game object here. 
Okay, now let's make our black cube grabbable. To do that, we only need to add the OVR grabbable script to it and make sure that it has a collider. And if we now press play to try to grab the cube, you can see that the door seems completely broken and the reason is that the door is actually colliding with itself with the black cube, so the quick fix is to create a new layer here. One for the ends and one for the grabbable handler. Then we can go here on the physics settings where you will find the collision matrix. In this matrix, we simply said that the grabbable handler layer only collides with the ends and that's exactly what we want. And here we go now if we press play, you can see that I am able to easily peel the door and everything works super well, except one last thing. Now, if I want to let go of the door, the black cube stays up in the air and is not reset to its original position. So let's go fix this. We will create a new component to the black cube named door grabbable that will override the OVR grabbable script. Therefore, instead of extending the mono behavior script, it will extend the OVR grabbable. Now, if I want to, I can rewrite some function from the basic OVR grabbable component. In our case, we want to override the grab end function, which is called when we release an object we were holding. When overriding, I want to call the base function with base.grabEnd, and after that, I want to reset the position of the black cube. One last thing here is that we don't want the cube to have a velocity when we release it, so in the base function, I'm going to set the linear and angular velocity to zero. And now let's head back to Unity. We can remove the all of your grabbable script to the black cube and set the handler variable to be the white cube. And if we hit play, we can easily grab the door and the black cube is going back to its original position. How awesome is that? Okay, well, I believe that if you are still here at this point of this video, you might want to learn more, right? So we have some other fixes to do that I will show you as a little bonus of this video. The first one is kind of annoying. You can see that sometime when releasing the handle, the door just move in the opposite direction. A quick fix for this is to reset the handler velocity with these three little lines of code in the door grabbable script. And now it's a bit smoother, isn't it? Finally, another quick issue we are having is that if we keep holding the cube and we move away from the door, the object keep following us. Another quick fix is to simply force the release of the cube when the black cube is far from the white one. And this can be done by calling the force release inside the update function that will be triggered every time the distance between the two is greater than let's say 0.4. And here we have it, the object correctly reset when the end is too far away and we are done with the door system, how awesome is that? Now we don't need to see the cube anymore so I'm going to disable their mesh renderer and hit play to reward myself with this beautiful door opening. Which I hope will make you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. Anyway, let me know if this tutorial helped you and if you learned something new on the way. As mentioned in the intro, you can use the same technique to make a lever or a drawer for example, so go on and make those in your own VR game. Thank you for watching and see you soon for another video.